I did uh, eventually adjust physically completely. There was also some mental adjustments, psychological adjustments, a uh, sense of disorientation initially, both in time and in space. Learning to fly has been the most important thing, I guess. Learning to you know, move around using your feet and your hands without breaking anything. What is it like up there with uh, people you're working with? As you can see behind me, they, the banderole of flags of countries that contributed to the International Space Station. And every day on board, we are reminded that we are an example, uh, that every day we work together, every day we prove that when countries decide to put aside their differences, which exist and are true, but when we put aside our differences and focus on what we have in common, we can accomplish amazing things. And one thing you get obvious when you look at the Earth seen from space is that it's just one big spacecraft for all of humanity. And we're all in the same boat, if you want, literally the same space boat, Mother Earth. And so I think it's just a matter of focus. If you focus on the differences, of course, they're there and they can become, you know, overwhelming. But if you focus on what we have in common, uh, that's when you open the door to collaboration and getting further and maybe one day managing to work together and amazing things that we can achieve when we put our strengths together. He has a wonderful sense of fulfillment that he was presented with audacious, near impossible mission objectives and they accomplished uh, all of them. But bittersweet as well, he's had a tremendous time there. When I uh, feel uh, far from Canada, I have some maple syrup. A little secret stash here. Go Raptors, go! It's uh, bittersweet, of course, looking forward to going back home, seeing my friends and family, uh, but you know, it's a bit emotional to have to leave station. Yeah.